I was actually working on a completely different video regarding a uh, an online blog interaction that I had uh, regarding Ripple and XRP. Uh, and then someone brought up Oracle as a competitor to Ripple. And anyhow, as I was re researching Oracle and reading, uh, the reading brought me to Moneta Go, uh, which was reported over the past year as working with Swift India to provide uh, interbank transactions in India with uh, uh, fraud protection. Uh, so I started digging into uh, Moneta Go's platform that they're using, which brought me to R3. Um, and then brought me into thinking a little bit about uh, Swift India and the relationship here. Hi, this is Jeff with the Hotter Report. Join me on today's video as we explore Monetigo, Swift, R3, Corda, Quarter Settler, and XRP. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, give a thumbs up, leave some comments below, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the uh, to the channel. Now, last month, <clears throat> there were rumors circulating that Swift and Ripple were somehow going to work together. Uh, these rumors were proven to be false. And in fact, Brad uh, Garlinghouse put out a statement that he doesn't intend for Ripple to compete with Swift, but to actually replace Swift. <laughs> uh, but what I started thinking about as I was going through all of this, could there be a scenario where Swift actually ends up working uh in an arrangement that they have that actually uses uh, XRP. Now let's get back to uh, Moneta Go for a second. So um, India um, has actually been resisting uh, the expansion of cryptocurrencies in their country, uh, basically out, outright uh, banning uh, the exchanges. Um, yet their largest banks have been testing a partnership program between Swift India and Moneta Go using blockchain technology. So uh, Moneta Go for fraud protection of interbank payment transactions and Swift India for interbank messaging solutions. Now, Magnetic Go's primary product, Supply Chain Finance, um, let me take from their website, let me read this from their website, Magnetic Go Solutions use next generation technologies to mitigate risk, increase capital efficiency, and make capital more accessible, get faster and cheaper access to capital as a business, and get better rates and return on your investments as a creditor. So definitely uh, a plausible uh, solution. Now, Swift India is the local version of Swift in India. Let's not get too in-depth into that. Um, now, Moneta Go um, is using R3 Corda as a core part of their solution. Now, R3 Corda is actually focused on bringing blockchain to every single industry, pretty much everywhere. Now, two days ago, it was actually announced uh, by R3 that they launched a brand new solution called Corda uh, Settler for settlements, uh, basically to facilitate global payments. Um, in their press release, uh, the Corda, Corda Settler is an application uh, purpose built to allow for payment obligations raised on the Corda blockchain platform to be made through any of the world's payment systems, both traditional and blockchain based now xrp was actually listed as the first digital asset to be settled on the r3 corda settler solution and i'm sure this is somehow a direct media statement that was directed at some of the world's largest financial institutions kind of a little bit of a of a dig now with the new rollout of the latest financial payment solution i'm positive that R3 is going to begin to push this solution out to their over 200 financial institution uh, partners that they work with. Now, it is dis it is a distinct possibility that the new uh, Corda Settler app could also then be implemented through the Moneta Go as part of the core R3 Corda solution that Moneta Go uses. Now. <clears throat> If Moneta Go does implement the Corda Settler app, XRP as a payment solution would actually be an available, usable solution through a partnership with Swift 
or that Swift is involved in. So we have the Minetigo Swift partnership working in India. Now I'm not saying that any of this means that XRP will be used through the partnership or that the Corda Settler app would actually be implemented by Minetic Go, but I find it very interesting that the Corda Settler app could could actually be implemented uh, by Monetigo Go and XRP could actually be made available uh, through this partnership. Now this puts XRP in an extremely close proximity to actually being part of a solution that Swift is directly involved in. Now again, I'm not saying that they are, but it is a possible scenario that we can actually discuss hypotheticals about that simply didn't exist two days ago. But one thing that we're all learning is that as large as this payment space appears to be, it's actually quite small. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give a thumbs up, leave some comments below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. And as a quick note before I sign off, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not providing any form of financial advice. But if I am going to give any advice, then let it be this. Do your own research. Invest only what you can afford. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And don't buy or sell based on the FUD or FOMO that's spread online. And with that, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And keep on hodling your crypto.